it's scoundrel activity, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, but it's the kind of thing that you try to be aware of. What happened at Royal Oak Books on Woodward is under investigation tonight and is upsetting to employee Curtis Gunn, who says the rare and expensive children's books were on the counter right next to him when an accomplice to a book thief diverted his attention. If they could get me down the aisle and away from the front, the woman would open the door, he'd heft them up and go on out with them, and that's what they did. It was six days before Christmas, and the owner had yet to price the Wizard of Oz collection, about seven of them similar to these, and three in the early Dr. Seuss series. A few were left behind, but the cost could be well over $1,000. They are highly desirable books, and uh, the guy knew that, and that's why he chose them. Times are tough, and people are doing a lot of wild and crazy things right now and that's one of them. The Royal Oak Bookstore is filled with thousands and thousands of used books. Some of them old, some new, stacked high on the shelves in the narrow aisles. And when Curtis wasn't looking, a man lifted the books and walked out the door. Curtis followed. I, I reached the car, was able to bang on the window and get him to you know, but they spit off. Police and Curtis and the store owner want book lovers to be on the lookout at pawn shops and flea markets because these aren't just any books. They are collectibles from the early 1900s and they want them back. In Royal Oak, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News.